Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Well, today we're going to do a tutorial in Marvelous Designer 7, and we are going to be modeling a robe. You know, the kind that is worn by warriors, Jedis, and so forth. All right, let's check it out. Here we go. Okay, guys, well, we're in Marvelous Designer 7. Uh, let's get started. So I'm going to go up to uh, File and Add and click on Avatar. Come on, Avatar, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to click on Mill B. That's the guy we want to use. And uh, let's load that up. And you can choose how you want him to be displayed. If you got a beefy system, you can do it like this. If not, you can go in and do something like this, which is a bit easier on your uh, on your resources. Okay. Now let's get started with our robe. So I'm going to start with my uh, polygon uh, tool right here. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to start on the shoulder, and I'm basically going to try to get this in one shot and we're going to keep this nice and long because we want these robe sleeves to be quite long and a lot of folds and stuff so we're going to go in like this go into about here and we're basically going to keep this very straightforward to about there click on the middle line bring that up to i would say about here and then close that gap okay now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go into that second button. We're going to click on the center line. We're going to right click and click on unfold, which will copy that over. So we have one section like this. Okay. Now this uh, we can move in uh, to the back in our 3D view, which will be the back panel. And let me see here. Just make sure it's in the right place. Yep. And then we need to uh, flip that around. So I'm going to right click and go to flip horizontally so that the right side is facing outward. As you can see, you've got gray and white. We want that white piece to be on the outside, right? And we're going to tweak this one later, but first we're going to copy it. So I'm going to go into this guy, select it, hit Control C to copy it, and hit Control V to paste it. And let's paste that in right there. Now that's going to be my front panel. So what I want to do there is go in and uh, cut that in the middle. So I'm going to need to uh, take an internal line. We'll just give this a sec. Just thinking about it. Uh, let's see, internal line right here. I'm going to click on that little dot and double click on the second one, which will create an internal line and that's where we're going to cut it. So I'm going to um, make sure it's selected. I'm going to right click. Uh, no, I have to go to this one first. Select it, right click and cut. Now that's gonna be uh, my front panel as mentioned. So uh, let's go in here and I'm gonna take one and two and then click on it again. Use the gizmo, move it in front until it's basically where it needs to be. Yeah, it looks all right. I guess, and then we need to flip that as well. So we're going to right click and flip horizontally. So we've got white on the outside. So far, so good. Now, I uh, want to change this a little bit here. So I'm going to click on this dot on the back panel. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to go in and take that third button right there. I'm going to click on it. So I can um, slowly drag that down to kind of give that shape for the neck. Okay. Now I'm going to need that dot later. So I'm going to go to this guy and add a dot in the middle and you'll see in a bit why we need that. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, what's next. So, uh, we need to get sewing. Uh, let me see if I need to do anything here just yet. No. And sewing is always tricky because it's very easy to get your lines crossed. So you need to pay attention to your 3d model here. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go here, I think. Let me, let me see. And we'll know that quick enough. If we look in our 3D view, we'll see whether those lines have been crossed. No, they have not. So that's fine. And then we're going to go from here to there. Okay. So we're going to go from outside to outside. So outside to outside. Thinking about it, we're going to go from here to there, here to there, and then here to there. 
Okay, let's just quickly check that to make sure we got no lines crossed or anything. Seems to be fine, so let's do a first simulation. We're gonna hit that simulate button. And we might need to drag everything up a little bit because usually when it starts to simulate, it's gonna hit gravity. And I think it's just working out. Yeah, you can see it is. But you can also see that it's falling off of the shoulders there. And we don't want that, of course. So uh, that's what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna go in and then take half of this guy. I'm gonna slightly move that out of the way. And then we're gonna go in here And I'm going to create this guy right here. Okay. Now I want to stitch that in to keep that into place. So I need to have additional dots left and right so I can actually do that. All right. So uh, let's see. We're going to go to uh, this guy right here. And I'm going to add a dot here. And then I'm going to go to the right. And I'm going to add a dot there as well. And then we need to go in and sew that together. So I'm going to take my uh, sewing machine, this guy right here, go from here to there, and go from there to there. Now you can see in our 3D view that this thing is uh, way out of place. So we're just going to move that to roughly where it needs to be. Yeah. And let's re-simulate this guy. Here we go. And this should keep the, uh, the robe together on the chest much more than before. And we can go in and grab those shoulders and bring that up if need be. And if that is not enough, we can simply close that area a bit. Okay, and that's not too difficult. So what we can do there is we'll go in, we'll go into edit. And let's just uh, take this one and move that in a bit. Take that one. Move that in a bit. Let's do the same back here. Let's do a new simulation, see if that helps. Yeah, that's much better. All right. Okay, so uh, that looks all right. Now, uh, for the very, very tricky part, what we need to do next is we need to add the uh, the hood, all right? Let's just uh, drag this into place a little bit. Okay, so the hood, uh, here we go. Now, um, we're gonna go in and start with our polygon shape again. And I'm going to go in here and basically start by creating a rectangle. Nothing fancy, right? Then I'm going to go into edit and I take that corner right there, go into this guy, take that curve, and basically create something like this. Now, this is, uh, like I said, a bit tricky. We're going to go in and Put a dot in the middle right there. And the tricky part is getting the stitching right. Okay. So now that that's in place, I'm going to start to move this um, to where it needs to go. So I have a better idea of how to stitch it. We'll just give it a second. So I'm going to take the gizmo and flip it around. I'm going to move that down. Bring that in. And normally you want to have something like this be oversized, okay? So that's basically where it's gonna go. And uh, I'm eyeballing the size here a bit, so we'll see. So uh, let's see, so the back part of this needs to go to the back part of the, uh, the robe there. So uh, let's go to my sewing machine and I'm gonna go from here. Yeah, that looks fine. And then we're gonna go with the front piece to this one. 
that looks fine and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna hit uh, let's see control C and control V so we're gonna copy and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click and go to flip normal we're gonna move this into place and we're gonna need to stitch that guy as well okay so this should go here There you have it okay like i said a bit tedious but we'll get there okay and then this goes to this now now that we have all of that in place let's do a first simulation and see how this turns out Just pulling that forward and if you see those ears sticking out that's fine we can fix that by uh, just adjusting the uh, the distance between the particles but for now it's looking okay um, yeah so I'll show you a li neat little trick to add some detail here and then uh, we'll go from there okay so let's uh, look at the bottom here first maybe we can uh, adjust the size of the cape a little bit of the, of the hood so let's go in here and I'm going to drag select these two double click right there hold down shift and just pull that up a little bit okay I just want to have a little bit more uh, more meat to it if you will let me just re-simulate that let's see if that helps a little bit And it does and maybe even do a bit more so let's just pull that upward I especially want to have those folds on this shoulder area here so let's hit re-simulate looks a bit funky right now but we we'll get there and you can uh, assist there if you like just by pulling it into place So if you really want that uh, Grim Reaper look, uh, maybe that's a bit, a bit too much, but you know what I mean, right? So we'll just uh, level that out a little bit. That looks about right. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to show you a little trick here. Uh, we're going to go in here and I'm going to uh, select that bottom line right there. So go to edit and then I take this guy and this guy. I'm going to right click offset as internal line. Let's set that to 10 centimeters, which will automatically select that line right there once it's done. And we're going to right click and go to cut and sew. Uh, when we do that, well, I'll just give that a minute. When you do that, you will get a seam like this. Okay. Now we want to do the same in the front as well. So we're going to go in here and I'm going to take one and two. Offset this internal line, 10 centimeters. Give that a second. Right click. I'm going to go to cut and sew. So we got that. Let's try that on our sleeves as well. Let's go in one and two. Offset this internal line, 10 centimeters, hit OK. And then we're going to right click and go to cut and sew. And then we're going to go in here, we'll take one and two. Offset this internal line, 10 centimeters. And then we can right click and go to cut and sew. 
Now, the reason why that is so cool is you can add uh, different textures to it because you now have individual parts going on there, okay? So, uh, what we could do, for example, is go in, add a fabric, and we'll uh, click on the color, and we'll do red or whatever. Go ahead, okay. And you can simply just drag that red onto these sections right here. And you can see that right there. And then we'll go in and we'll do that here as well. And the front. Just to give you uh, an idea of what you can do there. Okay. Now, uh, I'm happy with how this is looking so far. Uh, we can do uh, one more thing, which is kind of cool. And that is add stitching. Now, if we go up to uh, this uh, section right here, you have a segment top stitch and you've got free top stitch. We're gonna do that, we're gonna click on free. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna start drawing on these lines. So just pull right there and end. And we'll just uh, click on that when it's done. And we'll do the same here, so pull double click and I'll show you in a second what that looks like when it's done and every time you do that the blue line will turn red so you can see that's done so and we can do that down here as well one as well and I'll show you what that does because that's kind of the idea here right and hopefully you can see it if I go in really close you can see individual stitch lines going on there okay just a nice detail I think all right so that is how you create a robe or at least the basics of it okay now one final thing you can do if you want to have that opening a bit more closed up or at least a bit tighter you can go in and select this button right here we're going to select that section and we're going to go in and we're going to add some uh, elastic properties uh, let's see here right here we're going to click on this guy let's set that to 30 and as we do that in our simulation you will see that that will tighten up it's going to kind of pull that together to close that up a little bit and there you have it now a um, few more things we can do uh, for our final look first uh, is we are going to zoom out a little bit and we're going to drag click everything and we're going to add a little thickness to it so uh, let's see thickness uh, right here let's set that to two and in order for us to actually see that thickness you have to go up to this guy and you have thick textured surfaces so if you click on that you'll see that it adds the thickness okay now i'm just going to click outside of it and we'll zoom in so you can actually see that it has actually done that okay there you go now that's one thing and then the final thing and I'll just give this guy some color here the final thing we can do is go in and drag select once again and let's set the particle distance instead of 20 uh, which um, you know gives you a lot of leeway in our system we're gonna set this to 5 right and then we're gonna go in and do a final simulation all right guys well this is the final look of our robe i think it turned out okay um and you can export it from here into maya zbrush keyshot whatever you like i'm going to take it into keyshot to apply a nice texture to it for the thumbnail and that said that concludes our video thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time